We've got as long as it takes for the battery in that camera to run out to answer any questions you could have about these zappy little fellas. Let's go. Are all batteries the same? No. Broadly speaking, there are three kinds of disposable battery. Lithium, alkaline, and zinc carbon. Zinc carbon batteries are cheap, really cheap. They retail at around 50 cents per double A. If a packet of batteries doesn't say what type they are, or uses the phrase heavy duty, they are zinc carbon. They're good for TV remotes, wall clocks that don't drain a lot of energy, and suck for just about everything else. Want to upset your kid on Christmas morning? Pop some zinc carbon batteries in her new toy and see how far it gets. We have learned a valuable lesson about batteries. The greatest gift of all. So true. OK, alkaline. This is the most common type of disposable battery. They're about a dollar each, so twice as much as zinc carbon, but have around three times the capacity. They're good for pretty much anything if you don't mind replacing them from time to time. But if you do mind, there's lithium. Heaps expensive, about four bucks a battery. But do they last long enough to justify the price? Probably not, says Choice. Their testing found lithium batteries gave better performance overall, but are still a poor value proposition. Using alkaline batteries you replace a couple of times usually makes more financial sense than using one expensive lithium battery. What do words like max and gold mean? Good question. Getting your head around those words that you'll see on a battery packet, like advanced or max or gold or ultra, can be hard. The good news is you don't need to because they're meaningless. In fact, gold and max are registered trademarks. So ignore them. When we asked Energizer to explain the difference between their max and advanced range, they told us... Please be informed that Max Battery is the latest addition to our alkaline batteries, which is more better than advanced batteries. More better? Yeah. Now, also be wary of claims like longer lasting, as on these Duracell Ultras. Follow that little asterisk and you'll see that it means that these alkaline batteries last longer than zinc carbon batteries, which of course they do. You could also claim that they're longer lasting than Tiffany's potato battery here. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, Tiffany. So, remember, if you want a sense of how long a battery is going to last, don't look at the marketing jargon. Look at what it's made from. Who invented the battery? Many people believe that the first battery was invented using earthenware jars, not unlike this one. In the uh, third uh, century... Sorry, we don't really have time for this at, uh, at all. Uh, uh, moving on, in 1799, the father of the modern battery, move, move, Alessandro move, move, Volta... Move. Should I use rechargeable batteries? It almost always makes financial sense to use rechargeable batteries. The popular ones cost around five or six bucks each, plus the cost of the charger, but you're going to make that back after a dozen or so uses. Rechargeable batteries are also a lot better for the environment. It means that you're not contributing to the 14,000 odd tonnes of batteries going into Australian landfill every year. And it also drastically reduces the chance of Craig Rucastle coming to your house and making a documentary about you. Even a reusable cup could eventually end up in landfill. So the best solution is to get the barista to make the coffee directly into your mouth. The problem with rechargeable batteries, though, is their self-discharge rate, which sounds gross but is not. Rechargeable batteries lose a fair whack of energy even when they're not being used. So they're not good in devices that just sit around a lot, like your torch or your smoke alarm or your emergency big mouth Billy Bass. <laughs> interesting facts about batteries? Why, yes, I do. If, like everyone else in the world, you have a drawer full of loose batteries that you're not sure are still good, here's a way to see. An alkaline battery with a full charge won't bounce when you drop it on a hard surface. One without a full charge will. It's like a reverse basketball. Now, remember, this only works for alkaline batteries, and the reason for this is powerful witchcraft. Also, you could just get a battery tester for, like, ten bucks, I guess. OK, that's it. I think we did it. Right. The year is 1752. A curious Philadelphian by the name of Benjamin Franklin has discovered...